Hey guys, this is Alan and uh, I'm going to be showing you something that you probably haven't thought about before and that is, let's say your plant is not doing well. Let's say your plant's not growing. Maybe your leaves are wilted or your plant's dying back. In my experience, after growing a few thousand plants over the years, that happens for two reasons. Number one, it's going to be water. It's either going to be lack of water or too much water. Mainly, I would say 98% of the time, if it's water, it's going to be lack of water. Now, reason number two, damage to the root system, either physical or chemical. A lot of people don't think about this and uh, you need to in order to save your plant. Now this fig right here, this is an Olympian fig. I know it has no leaves right now because we're in the middle of the winter, but this plant was already struggling during the summertime. Um, my leaves were wilted, I watered the area, and uh, they were still, uh, still wilted. So usually, if it's a water issue, as soon as you water, if you didn't take too long in between watering, you wait a few hours and your leaves are gonna perk back up. Or even if the leaves took damage like this, as soon as you resume watering, within a few weeks, you're gonna grow new leaves and your tree is gonna be healthy again. Now, I did that, guys, and uh, my tree did not recover. So, at that point, you have to look at option number two, and that is damage to the root system, either physical or chemical. I haven't sprayed anything around this area. I don't use pesticides, I don't use chemicals, I don't use any of that stuff. So I know it's not a chemical um, issue here that I spray anything or that's damaging the plant or, yeah. So that brings us to physical damage. So how can you physically damage the root system of your plant? So let's say you just planted your tree and then your tree obviously stress, uh, it looks like crap, it's not growing, the leaves are wilted regardless of how much you water it. If you just planted your tree in the ground, that means one thing. You damage the root system of your plant. So when you put it in the ground, when you took it out of the container or transplanted it, you probably damage a lot of the roots. You rip a lot of the roots. So the roots sustaining that canopy are no longer there. So the first thing to take damage is going to be the canopy. The leaves are going to wilt. They're going to fall off. And then depending on how much damage you cause to the uh, tree, it may recover or it may not. Some trees are delicate and if you damage the roots, they will die regardless of what you do. Now this is an Olympian fig and uh, it has been in the ground. We actually transplanted this tree about a year ago. If you watch my other video where I explain how to transplant figs, we did the same thing to this tree here than we did to the other guys. And uh, this tree, it should be a lot bigger now than it is because it's been in the ground for a little over a year. But instead, it's been declining for the past few months. So, physical damage. In my area, I had gophers. If you don't have an experience with gophers, what they do is they are in the ground, they make tunnels, and they eat the root system of your plant. The more roots they eat, the more damage your tree will take. If this has been any other type of tree, it would have been completely dead by now. But figs are one of the easiest, hardiest trees to grow. And you really, really have to try hard killing them. And even if you try hard killing them, they may still not die. Now, how can you identify a gopher? So, you see those mounds of dirt right there? That means that gophers mean making tunnels around the root ball of this tree right here and eating the roots. So there is only one way to save this plant and that is you have to get rid of the gopher guys. I love animals, I'm an animal lover um, and uh, but you know what I like my plant better. So if I was able to make a deal with the gopher and tell him hey go hang out in that corner I'll feed you, I'll water you, I'll give you everything you want, just leave my plants alone. I would do it. But you know what? The gopher doesn't care. So I'm gonna have to get rid of him. 
I'm not gonna be showing that because, you know, well, you know, some people are sensitive, so you're gonna have to trap them and you're gonna have to rehome them humanely. So, but yeah, if you have mounds around the trunks of your trees like this, the soil is soft, that means something is being digging around there and eating the roots of your plant. Um, let me pull this right here. This was a branch right here. And you can see the gopher is being eating the bark of the plant and it completely chew it off the actual main plant. And even then, let me show you. Even then, this branch right here is still alive. That is still green, guys. So that means this is alive. You know why it's still alive? Because the tree went dormant before it lost, um, before this happened. So when the trees go dormant, you can do anything you want to them and they will live. Now, once the temperatures warm up and this branch actually starts growing new leaves, at that point, all the energy stored in this branch is going to be spent growing new leaves and then it will dry out and die. So we're just going to go ahead and root this into the ground so it can regrow. Uh, but yeah, this is what's happening right here. And um, that gopher is just being it in the roots of your plant, or my plant actually. And yeah, and there's nothing else you can do about it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to dig around it. I'm going to find the tunnel that the gopher is using. I'm going to put a trap in there and uh, I will get rid of him. Once that happens, I'm restarting my growing time for this plant right here. I know this plant probably doesn't have hardly any roots in there. So it's going to take another year for this plant to recover. But as long as the gopher or any new gophers don't come in here and start eating the plant again, it should recover and it'll be fine. So yeah, if you have any mounds of dirt, uh, of dirt around your plants, especially around the trunks, and your plant is um, it's not doing well, it's because something is eating the roots of your plant. It could be a gopher. Um, ground squirrels will do the same, but they will not eat the roots of your plants. What they do is they make uh, holes in the ground, trying to dig a home, and uh, in the process, they damage the roots of your plants. Um, moles will do the same thing, but they don't eat the roots of your plants. What they do, they eat the bugs in the soil. But in the process, they will rip the roots in the soil as well. But gophers are your worst enemy. If you have gophers and you're planting trees in the ground, you have to get rid of them if you want to be successful. There's no other way around them. A lot of people like to use those metal uh, cages when planting trees in the ground. They don't work, guys. Because you have to understand, your tree will grow. And it will outgrow that cage eventually. And guess what the gopher is going to do? He's going to find those roots and he's going to eat them and he's gonna keep eating them and then that cage eventually is gonna rust and then the gopher i've seen it happen they will actually break through that cage and they will still eat the roots of your plant so don't waste your time putting cages in the ground they do not work um the only way to actually get rid of them successfully is by physically getting rid of the gopher itself Anyways, guys, yeah, so this plant right here is suffering because there's a gopher eating the roots. No amount of water or fertilizer is going to save this plant. Um, so, like I said, I'm going to dig this area up and um, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to rehome that gopher. But, uh, yeah, so remember, if your plants are not doing well, it's for two reasons, guys. It's either water or some type of uh, physical or chemical damage to your plant. If you spray something recently, if you fertilize your plant and within a week your plant's not doing well, it's probably because you know you spray something or something that you put in, in the soil or around the soil. But for this uh, case right here, it's physical damage to the root system. And uh, yeah, so that's about it guys. If you have any questions, comment below. If you really, really want me to show you how to get rid of gophers, just let me know and I'll make another video on how I personally get rid of them humanely. Anyways guys, I'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe.